Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. Frank, how's it going, buddy? It's going, Joe. Is it? It's a really good going. Oh, how's it going? You have, your, you have a little twinkle in your eye. Do I? I was going to say a sparkle in your eye. Both of them don't make sense. No, a twinkle in your eye, a sparkle in your eye. But twinkle in the eye, they say about like kids in your balls, like when you have cum. What? You've never heard that saying? Frankie, what did you say? <laughs> You've never heard that what, when people say like, oh, like, oh, I knew you before you were a twinkle in your father's eye. It's like, you know, what they say it to kids. No, they don't. Yes, they do, dude. That's not it. Yes, they do. No, it's not. No, they say if you have a twinkle in your eye, it's like, oh, you got like a pep in your step. No, they say pep in your step for pep in your step, Joe. No, they, they say There's multiple your... expressions for the pep no, in the no, step. No, 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 no. You just said come. I, well, yeah, I did. Welcome back, Basement Yard. Yep. I did say it. Um, however, yes. Joey, I meant it because people say it as like a, ah, there's a twinkle in his eye. Like I saw, I knew you before you were born because you, you was in a twinkle in your father's eye. I mean, I get the expression. Well, that's where it's, that's where I it's gotta from. I got to turn my light on. Oh, we got him. You want to just start anew? No. Oh, no. Oh, the light's out. My light. Ladies and gentlemen, this is live. What's live. Going with the light? Live, large, and in public, baby. Absolutely. Oh, maybe it's unclipped. Oh. There you go. There we you go. go. We got it. We that got was, it. We this got is it. a visual joke for our audio listeners. There you go. Sorry yeah. you're missing out. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's like a cum thing. It's like a. A cum in your eye. Did anyone ever say that to you? Like they should see your dad in you? Because I feel like you and your dad are fucking vehemently different people. My dad looks like me if I died and someone threw me in a river and then I eventually like bulked up and like got to the surface. <laughs> you look like a, a, a dead river man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I didn't even mean looking like you. I meant like looking like yeah. your dad. I just meant like your personality. I, me and my dad would look more similar if I was stung by a thousand wasps. Yeah, yeah. If you were beat with a hundred bats. Or if I ate a, a thousand shrimp and was allergic. Yeah, exactly. If, if fucking, if someone just put a, a, an inflating, yeah. you know, thing in Joe, like Pesci's, in Space Jam? in Joe Pesci's ass. Yeah. And they fill you up with air. Yeah. You look, your dad looks like Wayne Knight, but less happy. Wayne Knight doesn't look that happy. He's a pretty happy guy. He's Bringing in that cheddar cheese. Is he still? I would say so. They all get royalties from that show. That's good. Made Seinfeld a billionaire. Yeah. Which is kind of crazy. Crazy. Where, where are we going? <laughs> <laughs> so, no, yeah, no, you and your dad are very, very different mm -hmm. in personality, at least from what I remember. Yeah. And looks as well. Yeah. But you don't look like your mom a lot either. Keith looks like your mom and Thomas and Shannon. What are you trying to say? <laughs> also, people say me and Thomas look alike. Yeah, I would say you and Thomas. But Thomas, as he's gotten older, mm -hmm. uh, and Keith has gotten hotter, because Keith has gotten way hotter. He, him and he, him and Keith, him and Thomas and Keith look more alike. Him, Thomas, and Keith. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my dad. No, just Thomas and Keith. Oh, him is just the <laughs> he's the corporeal him. You gotcha. Know? Uh, but you don't really look like any of them. I see where you're going with this. <laughs> I'm not trying to insinuate anything about your good old mom. Yeah, I think you are. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm gonna tell Biz. Don't tell Biz because th this. Th I'm not trying to tell Biz. Please don't because Biz. I'm not saying anything Biz. about your mom. She if watches it... the clips sometimes, you know. Does she? Sometimes. Oof, uh, I'm sorry. Well, you know, my mom always tells me how much she doesn't watch. Yeah, my mom used to say that too. She goes, "Oh, I don't," because sometimes we'll talk about like jizz, jizz, pussy. Yeah, my mom has never in her life acknowledged the fact that there are penises in the world. Like, has never acknowledged a uh, dick. I'm, I'm sure on four occasions she's acknowledged it. Uh, that's what I mean. But I'm just saying, not to me. <laughs> <laughs> not to me. Oh, oh yeah. I don't like, I've never heard my mom being like, fucking, you know, penis. Like, I've never... I'm not, yeah, unless think... it's a dog's dick. She'll acknowledge a dog's whoa, dick. Whoa. Well, we have dogs. <laughs> Had. We have one now. <laughs> she dislikes your dad that much, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, but she's, you know... Yeah, I don't think I've ever heard she's my not the mom penis. talk about penises. Yeah. Or maybe I have... Uh, but I just, I've, I've mentally blocked it out. Mm -hmm. But I've heard my dad talk about vaginas, women's anatomy all the time. Stop. Not vaginas as much. I think he's probably in my life told me to stop being a pussy, which hurt. But yeah, now, but that has nothing to do with vagina. Yeah, no. I remember when we were younger, my dad would take us because at the lake house he'd take us on a jet ski ride by the the little beach there, mm -hmm. and he would always say like, "We gotta look for the balloons." I'm like, "What do you mean the balloons?" <laughs> I'm a kid at this point. And I'm like, oh, like, are, we where are, the, look for the are there balloons? I was pretty hyped for balloons at he the time. He was talking about big fat tea. He was talking about, you know, front pork. 
Yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, well, boar's head ham. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I do. Yeah, some fresh copy coal. Yeah. Well, there's only one of them. Yeah, I know. Uh, speaking of that, I mean, people have been telling me to watch White Lotus. I watched um, the first season of White Lotus. Was it good? No. You're the first person I know that doesn't like it. No, I don't. Because I, I'm a... Uh, all right. I'm not going to spoil the show, but I'll tell you the general premise is nothing fucking happens, but everything happens. What? So it's like there's no structure. No plot. There's no plot. What about multiple plots? So the first season... I haven't watched the second season, so the second season might have Do you spoil anything and I'll cut I'm your head gonna, off? I'm not. I'm not. I mean, I might spoil some things, but nothing like you won't know who. Um... But, like, it's just, th- like, three or four different groups of people. Okay. And things just happen at this hotel. And it's, like, this, like, super high-end, bougie hotel. Do they do they interact, the family? Some, in some capacity, in small, minor capacity. Sex? Is there sex? There is sex in the show. Nice. Uh, but, like, like, not with, like, each other. At least from what I've seen. Oh, they're, like... Solo sex. Some of them are doing like meeting other people and sexing. Some of them are se- like one of the one of them is a married couple like on their honeymoon. Okay. And the next one is like uh, a woman whose mom died. That's that's played by your girl. Which one's that? Um, uh, Stifler's mom, uh, Jennifer Jeff- Coolidge. Yeah, yeah, take the dog. Take the dog. Yeah, yeah. She's she's, she's really out there in this I show. Say I, I, I like Jennifer Coolidge. Yeah, she's she plays a really strange character. You, uh, would you kiss her? No? Yeah, I guess I don't think so. Yeah, why not? I, I'm a happily married man. Oh, come on. Who's if talking I, about that? If I was not married and she was like, give me a schmooch. Give me it. Yeah. I, I, what, what choice I'd would you have? Like, All right. Yeah. You know, so uh, that's it. Yeah. But like if she were to try to go in for like more, I'd say no thank you. Oh, I don't know about that. You're, you're going for it? I mean, once you get... Uh, once once Stifler's mom gives you a kiss, yeah, you what got, am I gonna do? You know, she gives you she a gives bend you, and snap. She gives you one stick of gum. Now you want the whole package. No, that's not a good expression. <laughs> that's not it. <laughs> no, but like, it's it's just like there's there's just random stuff happening, but nothing at the exact same time. So like, there's a lot of like people in that show too. No, yeah, it's like an ensemble cast. It's like a it's like an ensemble show. So there's no like you wouldn't be able to say who the lead is. You'd be able to, you'd be like, "Oh, there's a bunch of people." Who's in it? Coolidge. The first season um Jennifer Coolidge. Nice. Uh some Australian guy. That doesn't narrow it. Yeah, down. I don't remember his name. Um Natasha Rothwell, she's a a black comedian, she's pretty funny. Um Steve Zahn, Saving Silverman. Steve Zahn. Oh, okay. I know Yeah, who that you is. know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I yeah. like him. Uh oh man, I really t- uh, Sydney Sweeney. That's your girl. Bing bang boom. <laughs> she's you know, got she's got firecrackers. She does. She's got you know she's got two liter of cola. <laughs> <laughs> but she also's got you know she's got a questionable grandma. She's got some stuff going on. Yeah, her, I think her whole family is like yeah, whatever, super- bro. Yeehaw though. You know what I mean? Yeah, but yeehaw, but like t- take it easy. Yeah, like not you know, like I I yeehaw. stay in the barn and yeehaw. Everyone yeehaws a little bit, but when you wear shirts that are like yeehawing, yeehawing. Yeehaw. <laughs> I think that's when it gets a little overboard. Hey, I'm just saying stuff happens to people. People believe what they believe. No, they do. no. I don't no. even know what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, who else? Who else? Jake Lacey. Uh, he was, uh, he's kind of on the up and coming uh, actors list that I put together in my room. Uh, what? <laughs> he's from The Office, the like later seasons of The Office. He played like the new Jim, kind of. You know who he is. You see his face. Is that the one who looks dead? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> there's there's like a bunch of uh, Alexandra Daddario's in it. Another another another, another you know you know zippers. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, Molly Shannon is in it. Molly Shannon. Molly Shannon. There's someone who I would smooch. You kissing Molly Shannon it's for the old, you know? She's not that what old. Was, what was the movie? No, I'm not saying for the. I'm not saying. I'm saying for the old, like you know, the nostalgia oh, for the story. Um, but uh, what's the movie? Where she plays like someone's drunk wife. Oh, maybe it's Talladega Nights. Is she uh, Talladega? Where she's like, ah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She plays, she plays his like manager. When they drive by. Yeah, <laughs> she plays his manager. It's so good, bro. Talladega Nights. Watched oh, recently. Incredible. It's so good. Absolutely incredible. Yeah. Um, 
Also, Step Brothers, Catherine Hahn in that show. I mean, that movie. Bro, play, she's incredible. She, playing what's his name's wife, uh, yeah. Adam Scott's wife. He was also really funny in that too. Yeah, Adam Scott. bro, that whole mo- Step Brothers is a classic. <laughs> Dane Cook pay per view twenty minutes. I say that all the time. <laughs> Legit, like anytime I have uh, to like go somewhere. Uh, 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 uh. That scene right there has become like a piece of iconic cinema. Uh, yes. Uh, but bro, nothing like. You'll be like one minute, you'll be like people hanging at a bar, drinking a beer, and then the next, there's just some guy eating another guy's butt. Just like, and you see butt. Like in there, dude. Wait. I'm not gonna tell, I'm not gonna tell you too much. There are guys fucking guys. So there's a guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. You saw, so in White Lotus, I've never seen the show, um, but you're saying your favorite scene was when a guy was eating out a guy's ass? No, whoa, 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 No, nope. You no, said that. No, 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 I did not. You're like, yo, there's this This is going to be some trickery. I know what you're doing here. You said, here. yo, sick I scene. know what you're doing here for a clip. Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm just saying. No, I did not say my favorite clip. But he was burying one. his face in an ass? You literally, at one point, it's so, it's so, like, things. You, How do you think they faked it? You it didn't look like it a fake. It didn't look fake, my So guy. this guy, someone... Unless higher. they like did like a prosthetic asshole. Oh, maybe they. Pro- but you still gotta like shove it in your face. His guy was fucking. He was tongue. He was tongue deep down the Sahara. If you catch my drift. Could you do that if you were hired as an actor? Do what? Eat another guy's ass? A prosthetic guy's ass that he's wearing on his ass. Oh, prost. Oh. He has to wear it on his ass. Uh, I don't know. I don't did you know. see the legs of the man? Yeah. Well, that's a, you see the man standing, oh. the other man kneeling. Oh, a standing ass eat. Yeah, dude. Wow, that is very... I didn't know that... Listen, I know that... The people gay, eat asses. I, the gays, the straights, everyone in between... Oh, yeah, everyone's eating, eating the butts. butts. I always assumed it was, you know... Doggy style butt eating? Doggy style butt eating. It's or, a classic. Or throw the legs back. Throw the legs back. And hold, you know, have them hold their legs. Right, yes. Listen to your ankles. A standing up butt eating... That's I think that's reserved for if someone's cooking, and you can't like. Is that, is that something people do? Yeah, I think that like if someone's cooking eggs or something. You, mean, you specified eggs there, and I want to know why. I'm just saying. I'm thinking of like why someone would be standing. Because mm-hmm. typically, if you're going to be like, the, the first thing you thought of was cooking eggs. <laughs> yeah, I just <laughs> I just feel like if you're eating eggs, right, and you're like, mm-hmm. but not eating it, you're cooking eggs, and like there's some things happening behind you. You know what I mean? Like someone's uh, like. Can I ask you? Can I ask you, know, you a personal on, question a... for the world? Yeah, 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 yeah. You eating butt while someone's cooking eggs? No, I, no, that's dangerous. I'm just saying. Why no. is that dangerous? Because you could f- throw an egg or like the fire. Are you that confident in your butt eating? Huh? Well, I mean, dude, you got to remember to turn the stove off. Some people don't do that. You can't leave the stove on. Well, no. What's worse that happens? The stove's on for a little Explosions? bit. Explosions? I don't know. Yeah, if you leave the gas running and then you light a match or something, Joey. Accidents, bro. Nah. Don't but know. anyway, guy, if you're standing, right, someone's making eggs, and you come behind someone, you're like, come on, he's talking, you know? And then, she's like, no, I have to eat. And then you just, you just start eating. You just said butt. eat, but they're cooking. But I have to, she has to finish. Oh, she's cooking. She, she's going to finish, all right. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, that's the only thing that I can really think of. I can't think of why else you would be standing. Yeah. It, it, so I'm going to paint the picture is the guy was standing. With his back turned to the person with his hands on a desk. And the guy was on his knees, like... Oh, he was... They were bent. No, no bent. He had his hands on a desk and he was just like this? Yeah. Yes. Go for it. Yes. That's Bro, powerful. Wild. That's powerful. Wild. That's a pretty gay scene. That's a very gay scene. Did it... There's also... Es- did it escalate? That was... I mean, that was the that was the peak, Joe. Oh, there was no, like... You know what I mean? I, I don't. <laughs> I, I don't, don't know. know what that is. Uh, there was another scene where one guy, bro. Wait, more gay sex? They're not gay sex, but like, the guy said to him, he was like, uh, "Hey, let me ask you, what's it feel like to get railed in the butt?" He asked the gay guy. Yeah, and the gay guy just like goes, "You want to find out?" Just like that. Damn, that is fucking game. <laughs> and he, I'd be like, no, but whoa, oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and, he, and I think he said something along the lines of like. Oh, I'll take a rain check or yeah, some shit yeah. like that. But like really getting after it. And then there's like, you know, there's straight sex too. But the gay sex is what everyone's watching for. I would disagree with I, that. <laughs> I feel like I would be watching for the straight sex. Nah. I you, mean. You got cool. You got I the body. I, I, I didn't know there was going to be any sex. Right, honestly. Right. 
Now that I know. I knew literally knew nothing about the show going into it. I still it. don't really know. People can't really explain it to me. It's it seems yeah, because it's not like there's nothing but everything going on at the but same time. But you honestly time. you don't like it? I don't think it's good. I watched Or do the you first... think it just doesn't live up to the hype because it's so hyped? Well, the hype is for season two. Oh. I haven't seen season two yet. I've I've almost done with season one. Not true though, because my sister actually hit me up and said, Did you start White Lotus? And I'm like, no. Nah. And she's like, Well, season one was better than season two. Oh, really? If season one is better than season two, I'm going to hate season two. I wonder if there's more gay ass eating in season two. I hear there's a there's a, a like a clip of Jennifer Coolidge in season two. I guess she is in season two. Of her saying like, ah, oh, these gays are trying to murder me. So <laughs> something tells me there's some gays in season some two. gay murder going on. Yeah. I will say it, the first season starts off. The thing the show does really well is it starts oh, literally the first scene of the first episode. It says someone died. Oh. So you don't know who. Actually, you know all of but one person. So it's like a game of Clue. Kind of. But like it's not a mystery. But it, uh. does, it does a good job in setting people up in positions and situations where they can die. Like some of them are like, oh, we're thinking about going scuba diving. And you're like, oh. That be it? Oh, is it like someone died and then they show what happened leading up to the death? No, I have not seen the death yet. Like I said, I have one more episode in season one. Oh, okay. But like it's doing a good job like putting people in situations where it's like any of them could die. No, but I'm saying the show, does it take place before or after the death? You don't know? Uh, before I think it, I think it's oh says, okay so, so like you're, you're waiting for someone to die yeah I've been waiting this whole time and all I've been getting is guys eating each other's butts <laughs> <laughs> I'm in it for the murder but they're fucking teasing me with gay sex <laughs> like what is this <laughs> oh my god it's like the first episode is like someone died it's like whoa ten days earlier and then it's like who a guy's eating a guy's ass. Yeah, like this is the guy. This is how he dies. It reminds me. You have, you watch Arrested Development, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, well, no, sparingly. Oh well, there's an episode where it's like, you know, someone in this, you know, someone, one of these characters will die by the end of the episode, and it's like a quick flash of like a background character, uh, and like during the episode, they're like, oh yeah, by the way, that's the person. They like say something racist, and they're like, yeah, that's the person that dies. <laughs> it's just it's so stupid, but like, I'm I'm just waiting on it. You should try it. I'm yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna start it. I I don't have a show right now. Yesterday I watched the Grinch. Which well, which one? What, let's let's rank Grinches. There's three Grinches. There's the '60s one. There's the Jim Carrey one, and then there's the one that came out two years, three years ago with Benedict Cumberbatch. Okay. Where do you want me to rank them? One uh, to three or three to one? Uh, least favorite to most favorite. Least favorite. Haven't even seen Benedict Cumberbatch. Take a fucking hike. Okay, not a good Grinch. Uh, also seen his penis. We have seen his penis. We've seen you've seen his penis more than you have his rendition of the Grinch. True. Yeah. Um, <laughs> two. <laughs> two. I mean, it's it's the fucking sixties. You're one. a mean one. I can't get that low. That's pretty good. You're a mean one. The one you can't do. Ah. But you're a mean. You're a mean. Is out and sounds really you're good. You're a mean one. No. I mean, you I sound know. like a vampire. Uh, yeah, you sound, sound like Dracula. I sound like Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Grinch. Cha, cha, cha. It's a good, it's a good, uh, it's fine. It's whatever. But it's, there's nostalgia. The number one is Jim Carrey, bro. Jim the movie Carrey. is fucking fire. That movie is That's incredible. the one I watched. Yeah, they have, uh, that movie, watch it as an adult, and like there's a lot more adult jokes in it than you remember. Bro, there's that fucking sex party, the remember? The key party. Yeah. Yeah. People it's are, like throw your keys in here, and it's like a swingers thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's like everyone throws keys in a basket, you pick one out, and that's who, the, who you're fucking sucking that night. Yeah, which, good for you. I guess. Yeah. You would hope to get what's her name, Mary Lou Who, or whatever the the one. Oh, Betty! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> She's seen the lights. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I love that shit. Uh, yeah, 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 definitely. She's the prize. Um, <laughs> that's number one. That's the best one. Yeah, the fucking movie's amazing, dude. Yeah, and you finished Wednesday, right? Yes, also really good. I haven't watched Wednesday in its entirety yet. Where I think we just finished episode three. It's a good show. I like it. It's also very aesthetically pleasing for some reason. It's a Tim Burton. All his all Tim Burton stuff is like, you know, like I'm gothic not... horror where it's like, you know, like the banisters are like curled and sharp. Well, that's not what I mean. I just mean like, I don't know. I, I don't really know what I mean. I know exactly what you mean. But like another show that I feel that way about is Sex Education. Like I feel like that, like for some reason, I'm like, I love the way this is shot. 
like Sex the Education colors. is such a good fucking show. Yeah. And it's one of the few that are like kind of almost kind of almost realistic about like we like sexual interactions. <laughs> Dude, I mean, there's a girl in the fucking school that's like into aliens. There's a guy getting fisted. Yeah, we're not in school now. I wouldn't know. You you have more of a connection to the kids today. What are they doing sex wise? Yeah, it's that's what. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> First of all, you have more of a connection. You're dropping a kid off at a place. Yeah, at an elementary school, Joe. How young do you like them? <laughs> so disgusting. <laughs> Wait, what grade is he in? I'm not gonna tell you what grade my son is in. A second. Damn, I'm trying to think of like when we were in second grade, what that was like. Uh, bad. We were <laughs> bad. We were more. Were we walking to school in second grade? Uh, no, no, I don't think uh, so. Th- fourth grade is when we started. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I remember. Uh, I knew what a, like nipples were and that you sucked on them in second grade. <laughs> <laughs> in second grade, you knew. <laughs> you knew you sucked on nipples. I knew. I, I knew that's what they were for. Nipples are for sucking on. Yeah, but did you think? Did you think it was like? Cool sucking, or did you think like, well, milk, and we have to be survived as babies? Yeah, both, I think. Oh, okay. So you were like, I remember because is- I made fun of Ricardo. Because remember, he used to bring us a, a, like a, a nipple water bottle covered in aluminum foil to school every single day. I do, and I would tell him like, yo, you're sucking on that like your mom's nipple. Damn, dude! In second grade, said yeah, that it was wild. Fuck. <laughs> and he and and he got up, didn't say anything to me, got up and just started walking toward our teacher. And I followed him the whole way. I was like, yo, you don't need to tell her. That was a joke, man. Like, you don't need to do anything. And Did he got tell to her. her? And I, uh, yeah, he told her. Wow. I got fucking... There was some bass in that bark that day. Who's... Oh, Miss Macchio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Is she alive? I hope not. <laughs> no, I, I heard she I heard she is alive. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, good for her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still kicking. But I actually... It's funny that you bring up Miles because he was sick uh, last weekend. Uh, and um, something happened as a result of that that I kind of wanted to bring up. He's got an extra arm? No, no, he's good. He's good. He's all good now. But Becca, my wife, lovely wife, incredible woman, <laughs> <laughs> was on TikTok. And she's like, oh, I, I think I have an idea to how to make him feel better. Oh. Uh, and I'm like, well, how? And there are these fucking commercials going around. Let's, let's bring it on back. These commercials that are going around where it's like, I learned from TikTok. And it's like people posting... And, like, talking about things that they learned, like, little life hacks they learned from TikTok. And it's all mostly bullshit. Uh, I mean, I, I don't I don't, I, I don't know what you're talking You've about. You've never seen these commercials? No. I've yeah. seen, like, the life hack stuff on TikTok, but I've never seen commercials. There's, like, one where it's, like, what I learned from TikTok. I also don't have cable, so I don't. Yeah. I, I, I've seen it a couple times. But Becca goes, oh, it's supposed to help kids feel better. And you put a potato slice, a raw potato slice in their sock. And I was like, what? This is the fucking Greekest thing I've ever heard in my life. First of all, not Greek. Becca, not Greek either. So I know, but it just feels Greek. No, like, Greeks... I feel like Greeks have like these weird fucking things. No, Greeks would be like, sit on a lemon for an hour. You yeah. know? <laughs> is that different? Yeah, you're this? right. It's a little... Similar. Stand on a potato for an hour. No, it's you're supposed to do it when you go to sleep. Put a potato in your sock. Put a potato in each of your socks <laughs> and then go to sleep and then wake up. And then if the potato is black, it removed all the toxins from your body. Did you do it? I tried. You put a potato on your head? Put, on your head, head foot? foot? <laughs> Said hut! <laughs> <laughs> I put potato slices in my sock. We left one out as a control to see how it would oxidize. <laughs> this is the whole thing, okay. Miles put two in his socks. Becca put two in her socks. The whole family was potato yeah, that night. I took mine out. No, we did it during the morning because she saw it in the morning. I took mine out because it was very uncomfortable walking on slippery, slimy fucking potatoes. <laughs> Okay. Making mashed potatoes. Bro, literally, it was so uncomfortable. Um, Miles, You're I think... You're not supposed to walk on it. I know. <laughs> Miles took his out. Becca kept hers in at the end of the day. Hers was fucking black. Ew. Black. And it was different than like what... Uh... Yeah, than the oxidized one. Black, bro. And she's like, see, it works. And I was like, you've been walking on <laughs> this thing. <laughs> Like you, maybe you have dirty feet. Yeah, you think of that? I was like, you've been walking on this thing the whole day, and there's no other reason she, it could be black. And she's like, you believe in nothing. <laughs> I was like, what? That's. I was like, because I was joking with her that she's a conspiracy theorist. Because like yeah. the night before, she went down a rabbit hole of like, have you been hearing what's going on with Britney Spears now? 
I can't stand TikTok when it comes Bro, to that time. Do you, I don't know if you remember this, but during the pandemic, it was like Howie Mandel is a prisoner and he's been kidnapped but, in his own home. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. Or the one with Tom Hanks. Where it was like in his wife's glasses, you yeah. could see like a bench and yeah. she's supposed to be on the beach or some shit. Right. And uh, all shit like that. Ugh. But she went down a fucking rabbit hole and she was like, this is not Britney. Her husband is playing voice recordings. She's not real. And I was like, bro, you're- She's a- being held captive by gay aliens. I said, it's like, I was- how far are we going to go with yeah. this? I said, you're a little bit of a conspiracy theorist. So the next day, when she was doing this fucking potato thing- I was like, you're a conspiracy theorist. And she's like, you are the opposite. You believe in nothing. I love believe in nothing. That is so funny. I've actually said that before. <laughs> but I was like, I don't really like people who believe in stuff. Yeah, like, <laughs> you know, like when people have such a strong belief in something, I'm always just like, that's weird. Yeah, it is a little weird. Like, I, not that I don't believe in anything. Like, of course you have beliefs and stuff like that. But when people have such stern and strong well, beliefs in a thing, and well, you're like, we no, live, this is it. And you're like, you're weird. We live in a world now where, like, you need to let every fucking good and bad moral compass thing about you known to the world so you could be judged and then placed into the fucking box of where you're supposed to be accordingly. Like, people would be like, before, it was like, oh, you're on a first date. And it's like, hey, what? what's your favorite color? You know, like, oh, what's your favorite movie? Now it's like, what do you stand for? And it's like, <laughs> fucking, what? Come on. I, my answer is nothing, I think. No, I, I stand for love. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Love. Like, friendship. Oh, my God. Compassion. I stand for love. I do. Okay, there, hot shot. <laughs> Get to these ads. Get to these ads because uh, otherwise he's going to stand for love. <laughs> uh, guys, go check out Stitch Fix, all right? Stitch Fix is basically like having your own stylist. You go onto their site, you fill out a style quiz, and you tell them which kind of like patterns you like to wear, what kind of fit you want, your sizes, your height, and your weight, whatever, what you usually wear and they will spring into action and they will uh, send you stuff on a monthly basis, I believe, uh, about, I think, five items in a, in a box and you keep what you, uh, you pay for what you keep. So the rest you can send back and it's uh, free returns and all that and they have a uh, wide range of sizes available from extra small to 3XL. Um, they'll find your perfect fit and send you clothes handpicked just for you. A thousand brands and styles you know and love. This isn't just random stuff. Uh, so yeah, you can like have a stylus. It's like shopping for yourself. I mean, it's, sh- it's like someone's shopping for you. So it's great. So right now go to Stitch Fix. Uh, they're offering our listeners $20 off of their first fix at stitchfix.com slash basement. That is stitchfix.com slash basement for $20 off today. Uh, definitely guys go check it out. I've definitely used Stitch Fix before and it's really cool. If anything, just go to take the style quiz and know like what they would send you. It's really fun. So go to stitchfix.com slash basement for that. Again, $20 off your first fix. Uh, next here we have Rocket Money. Rocket Money is going to help you, okay? They're formerly known as Truebill. It's a personal finance app that uh, uh, finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Over 80% of people actually are paying for things that they don't even use, whether you sign up for a free trial at some point or you're like, I don't know. you. I don't even know. I've, I've signed up for so many stupid things. I've been like, this is the greatest thing ever. Some stupid photo editing app that I'm paying like $8. Everyone just signed up for that thing that's like $8 and it turns you into like a, like a astronaut or something. And you're like, oh, hell, I look like a hot astronaut. Everyone's paying $8 for that. You're going to be, there's going to be a lot of people that accidentally pay for that for like months to come. So Rocket Money is going to help you uh, cancel these unwanted subscriptions. Um, people are saving on average... $720 a year, uh, up to $720 a year, I should say. But you're going to be saving money uh, and finding the things that you're paying for that you don't really know you're paying for. So stop throwing away your money, cancel on once subscriptions, and manage expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash basement. Again, that is rocketmoney.com slash basement. I would go just to be curious. What am I paying for? Is there anything that slips through the cracks? See how much money you could be saving every month. Again, rocketmoney.com slash basement. <sighs> It's also time to tell people about the Patreon because Do Joey, it. We hit thirteen thousand. Pow, 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 wow, wow, wow. What are we doing? <laughs> well, guys, thank you so darn <laughs> the much. Fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs>
That's what I mean. If that's what you, <laughs> if that's what you like. Oh, fuck. that's what you're gonna get at Patreon.com/slash/TheBasement. <laughs> Thank you to all of our patrons. It is insane that we have been able to get here. It truly, truly is. I remember when I came on, Joey said to me, like, look, realistically, if we can get to, like, five, that'd be awesome. And look at us now. Thirteen, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of. Uh, and he meant inches, not Patreon. Uh, well. <laughs> but uh, thank you for all that have supported and all that will continue to support. Obviously, we want to get to 14 now. And 13 now, although we have not hammered down the exact details, 13 is going to be something bug-related for our good old friend Joe over here. So uh, he has been a little upset by it. But listen, you get to tear away a, you know, a bunch of my hair from my pussy. <laughs> you get to... Sit with bugs or do something with bugs for a little bit. So, patreon.com slash the basement yard is the best <laughs> way to support us. I also just want to say that if you are a new patron, there is a video, if you scroll, scroll back far enough, of Frankie getting a Brazilian wax. Yeah. Anything that is on there, any of the previous Patreon videos and episodes are still on there. You can get them all if you sign up today. And you could also, listen, last minute gift idea. Give someone some... <laughs> you said idea. I did. You said idea. I did. You said idea. Give someone the gift of the Patreon. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. You sign up for that first tier. Well, guess what? These weekly episodes, this one right here, 378, bing, bang, boom. You get it a week before everybody else. And then that second tier, well, that's... Those goodies come in, baby. <laughs> Exclusive episodes every Friday where you get a little bit of us and a lot of stupidity. Mm-hmm. So check it out right now. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Thank you for 13... Uh, and get ready for 14 because it's a hopefully a common. Ha ha. Ah ha ha. Ha ha. Also, I I just checked on this site. What we, number? We're we're 18th. Joey's favorite number. Top 18. You just jerked off two dudes I didn't in the air. Jerk off anyone in the yeah, air. You, Joey. It looked like a celebration, no. but it looked like you were actually jerking off two. I was two doing this. I was, well endowed. I was excited. E- exactly. I was excited. It, it, yep. What are you doing here? I know. Why do you excited. do that? It looks like you're, you're always with these jokes. You try to leave me out in the cold. It doesn't make any sense. Leave me out in the cold. It doesn't make any sense. <sighs> um, also, I wanted to talk about this uh, story that I had found: um, a singer who married a ghost. Yeah, well, we're gonna move forward. Okay, keep going, uh, a singer who married a ghost claims he ruined their honeymoon. Who is who? Who re- ruined it? Because I've known singers, and they ruin a lot of things. Well, sh- uh, no, the ghost was the one who ruined it. <laughs> you ever know someone that can sing, and they just like sing and wait for your approval? Who, mm. bro? When I was in college, I was you know I was an RA, and there was a resident. Who would always come and visit, stay oh, no. high, you know, a nice enough person, but she would sing and like I could see out the corner of my eye, she would like look in my direction for me to be like, whoa, whoa, that was great. Are you just doing this? Basically, just waiting for like a wow. I saw a TikTok recently where a guy like just has a guitar and like walks up to girls and goes. Can I sing you a song? Oh, my God. And whatever happens in these videos happens, but the only thing that goes to my mind is, like, I desperately hope that doesn't happen to me. I would I would be like, yeah, sing, uh, you know. I would say yeah, too, because I have to. But it's like, it's the same thing. Bro, if I'm at a restaurant and the waiter comes over and is like, do you want to hear the specials? I don't want to hear the specials. Oh, I always want to hear it. But I go, yep. And then also, you know, if you go to a restaurant where I've been to, like, Italian restaurants, which is like, these people are really Italian, like, off-the-boat Italian. I can't, I, I don't know what you're saying. Yeah, where they're like, we have a fresh bucatini with a bapa di beep beep and a, and a fresh sauce of a scarpoli. And it's like, well, no, I don't but it's know. like, I can't even understand. Like, you just, you'll be, you could be saying drinking parm and I can't even really get it well, out. Here's the trick. I'm like, what Any, was that back there? Anyone ever has someone come up to them and say, like, can I sing you a song? Say, yes. Can it be a request? And then when they say, sure, give them an R. Kelly song or <laughs> give them a song that has the N word in it a whole bunch. <laughs> A then, whole bunch. Then, then see how quick they are to come up to the next person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, honestly, that's a good move. You know, I have to do that. So, how did the ghost ruin the honeymoon? I have no idea, but it was a British woman singer. Oh, fucking! They you, start, British people are starting to show they're not as smart as we thought they were. What else have they done? <laughs> the Queen. That is Britain, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I still don't know what Britain is. Great Britain is like a collection of Britons. See, this is why I don't know. Britain, Br- see ya. Um, 
<laughs> if you're British, you're all of those things. Like the Great Britain is like the British Isles. Is Ireland in there? I think Ireland and Scotland. I think Ireland's like their, uh, like the Puerto Br- Rico. The Br- <laughs> it's like a, <laughs> the like Commonwealth. A, yeah, yeah. Br- Ireland is the Puerto Rico of England. That's fucking, <laughs> no, no, bro, that's hysterical. I, I can say that I'm Irish. Uh, you can. He's right, and I'm Puerto Rican. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> not one bit. Okay. Um. No, but this British singer uh, said Wednesday that her Victorian ghost husband. <laughs> oh God, what happened? I'm laughing at a Victorian ghost husband. His name's Eduardo, which of course it is. No, it's not. Eduardo. No. Spelled E D W Ardo. Ardo. Yeah. Uh, ruined their honeymoon by allegedly drinking too much in Wales. I mean, what else are you supposed to do in Wales as a ghost? I'm first, getting hammered. First of all, a Victorian ghost. And making her pay for everything. This dude's a G. First of all, kind of fire. This Honestly, is some Andrew Tate level shit. Is, <laughs> that's where you went? First yeah. person. I, I was going to say, this is a Motley Crue shit. Showed up, trashed the hotel, and just like fucking rock and roll. You pay it. How Idiot. Did, wait, so she married a ghost. The ghost got hammered. She paid for everything. <laughs> you know what I'm imagining, though? Because let's get one thing out. Like, let's just... Let's just say what we're all thinking here. Idiot. Stupid. <laughs> She's buying drinks and they're sitting at the bar. They're just sitting there. Oh, no. They, trust me. They're getting drank. Uh, by whom? Whoever's smart enough to be like, the, the ghost is over there. Yeah, I guess. And he puts it down. He's like, oh, I think they drank it. So, uh, but I'm imagining that. It's like, all right, another Jack and Coke for my husband. Yeah, what is and the, the bartender being like? Okay, here you go. What is the communicate? How do they meet? That's what I'm thinking. Is like, how do they meet? Where they're like sitting in a situation, and she's just like, "Will you marry me?" And the and she's like, "Say yes by blowing out the candle," and like, well, no, he probably he probably you know he proposed. proposed. Yeah, of course. I mean, the ghost can just show up and they'd be like, "Yo, it's good, ghost," and you're like, "Oh shit." Like, obviously that could happen. Wait, so the <laughs> ghost, this Victorian ghost named Eduardo, by the way, mm-hmm. already put a hole in her story right there. No way his name would be Eduardo. Absolutely no way. It'd be something way whiter. Yeah, like Constance. Like Thomas. Yeah. <laughs> Ed- Buckley. <laughs> Buck. Buck. Um, so he proposed to her? I, I, I don't know. The singer, oh, the singer met her uh, spectral uh, husband right. one night when he appeared in her bedroom and they had been seeing each other ever since. I told you, bro. First of all, that's not safe. There's a ghost in your bedroom? Well, also just like, yo, consent. You're just going to come to my room? Yeah, so this woman. They hit a rough patch after Eduardo allegedly ghosted her for disclosing their relationship to the public. My God. Eduardo, go- come on. Dude. Come on. If it looks like a spade, it's a spade. Okay, if he's a ghost, he's going to ghost you. Yeah. That's what happened. I mean, that's what happened. So he was pissed. So he was like, instead of like doing like cute ghost things, like just like randomly just flickering the lights... He, like, threw her fucking cabinet doors open. I guess. I mean, I wrote I wrote the song to Edwin, Eduardo back after he ghosted me for publicity disclosing our romance. I wanted to express the passion that I feel within my soul ever since meeting Are Eduardo. Are ghosts everywhere or, like, only in where they're haunting? Like, if I were to go... So, if there were a ghost in this room, are they can... Is that the ghost? <laughs> This is the woman who is dating the ghost. Married the ghost. And uh, that checks out. Yeah. To me. Yeah. She looks like she would marry a ghost. So, Um, like, you're a ghost. Okay. Are you staying in the room that you're, like, ghosting at the moment? Like, haunting? Or, like, could you go anywhere? So, if I hold the door open, I'm like, come on, let's go together. I think you could just, like, get through walls and shit. You could go wherever you want. So, like... Can you teleport or do you have to fly? I think you have to. I think it's like normal transportation. So you think in Britain there's only British ghosts? Well, duh. Well, what if I get on a plane as a ghost? I or mean, can I fly over the Atlantic? That's a good question. A I don't know question. how many ghosts have migrated to the United States. I'd like to ask her to ask Eduardo about this. Can we get her on the phone? Do you think we can figure out a way to talk to her? And <laughs> other people's lives. I'm doing your job for you. There you go. Forget it. We'll just, we'll just get her on. Just oh, get wow. Her on. They got married. She wore a black dress. Duh. Well, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. You don't want to wear white. It'd be insulting. Right. Eduardo just couldn't resist winding me up and made me, and made an inappropriate comment about her looking hot. I was like, wow, really? It's our wedding day. Who is he talking about? Wait, what? He was hitting on other chicks. 
He was hitting on other ghosts. Damn, this ghost is kind of. This guy. This guy's kind of fucking. This guy's a fuck boy. This guy's it's a, a dead fuck boy. This is a dead frat star. <laughs> He fucking hit on her friend, ordered fucking twisted teas at the bar. Here we go. He showed up to the <laughs> twisted tees. showed up to the wedding in a Ken Griffey Jr. jersey. <laughs> uh, the whole trip just seemed to get worse and worse. Eduardo thought he was being passionate and romantic by wrestling me to the ground to frolic in the sand, but I was trying to share my ice cream with him, and it went everywhere, all over my face, in my hair, and then of course the sand stuck to it. So I looked like I had a fight with a giant seagull. So this idiot, which one? Both, well, the the one that married the spectral, you know, Eduardo. Got it. Was wrestling on a beach with nothing. She said, Eduardo obviously doesn't have a bank card, so it's always me that has to pick up the tab everywhere we visit, and he certainly likes to go wild in our hotel room mini bars. Not Those a- are very expensive. One time I opened up a champagne bottle in Miami, and I was like, how much could this be? $130. At, at a mini bar? At, in my hotel room. Oh, I remember you were drunk when you did that. I yep. I remember when we went. I to drank Vegas. It in the shower. <laughs> I remember when we went to Vegas? We took one of the bo- bottles of water. For, Ten bucks. Yeah, bro. Why? For water. Yeah. Um, uh, you you'd want to pay that for Vegas water though. Let's be very clear. Oh yeah, big time. Big time. There is no water down there. You know they say, but pe- yeah, people say chivalry is dead. But our friend Eduardo the Ghost here says it's very much alive. Was that a pun? <laughs> I did it. You didn't. I did. Yeah, I don't think you did. Uh, all right, let's get to these next ads so we can just oh, move forward with I the show. I had a really quick question before you got to there. Oh, go ahead. What dead celebrity's ghost would you marry? There. Betty White. Betty White is like an old broad or like Betty White in like the 50s? Betty White. Really? I don't even know Betty White in the 50s. Bro, you ever see a picture of Betty White in the 50s? Yeah. Google that. Well, why do you say you don't know her? I just asked you Because I don't know her. I never met her. (laughs) I'm shocked you didn't go with Marilyn Monroe or someone damaged. You know what I heard the other day that's pretty sickening? Hmm. And I guess this is all speculation. Yeah, she's very pretty. Um... I saw it on TikTok, so I, I don't know how oh, fucking... Oh, it's real then, right? I'm saying you're I one was of those. just prefacing. You're one of those, Joey. You're like Becca. <laughs> I should marry you. <laughs> no. So I saw this video, and it said that Marilyn Monroe, when she passed away, her body like disappeared for like six hours. We know exactly where it went. Where? You know. Say it. Whoever the Undertaker was at that fucking morgue. That's what people are assuming. It's and that sad. And that m- multiple people were whatever. And then I also heard that wherever she was buried, the person who was buried above her requested that he be buried face down so he could be staring. Like, ill. Bro, when I'm dead, I'm gone. You could- If I knew that, right? If Marilyn Monroe was my uh, like relative or whatever, and I knew that, I'm grave robbing mm. the body that is turned over oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I'm, and I'm, then I'm going too. to i'm saying once i'm happens. gone though i don't care what happens to my body yeah you but can like finger it's me. Just, i don't care yeah i don't think you want to be fingered i'm dead what do i care bro i need i'm just saying like my in, ghost will be all fucking you know buying buying having someone buy drinks for me in england i'll tell you this right now all jokes aside if you pass on and you become a ghost and stuff this is exactly what i would do marry me no. Oh, I would okay. marry someone and just get hammered in Wales. Yeah, that'd be kind of fire. Honestly, I already said, I told Becca, I was like, when I die before you, because I will. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, if you meet somebody else, like, you know how people are like, I want you to be happy and find someone. I was like, yo, if you do that, I'm going to fucking violently haunt you. Yeah. So hard. Nice. Like, not not cute. Like, it wouldn't be like a flirty thing. It'd be a horrible haunting. It would be scary as shit. Yeah, and you're going to haunt the children, too. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. Because of what their mother did. They, they have to pay yeah. for what she has done. She's like, that's not dad. That's just some guy named Steve. <laughs> the, sin, the sins of their mother. <laughs> uh, all right, let's get to these ads here. We have Liquid IV. Liquid IV is keeping me hydrated, okay? Liquid IV is the best in the biz. Uh, they can't contain five essential vitamins, B5, B3, B6, B12, and vitamin C. You take the little packet, you open it up, you put it in a glass of water, you mix it up. It tastes delicious. 
and it's going to keep you hydrated. Uh, in just one stick, you get five essential vitamins, like I just said. Two times faster hydration than water alone. Uh, you can use it the first thing in the morning or before a workout or you know, before you head out for a long night or something like that, which is usually what I do when I have them. Uh, and they're made with premium ingredients, non-GMO, free from gluten, dairy, and soy. Like I said, they do taste delicious. My favorite one, probably the watermelon, then the strawberry. The, t this morning I had the Concord grape and it was really good. So all of them are amazing. Um, you can buy them in bulk nationwide at Costco or get 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code BASEMENT at checkout. Again, that is 20% off anything you order when you shop Better Hydration today using the promo code BASEMENT at liquidiv.com. So go do it, all right? Save your 20%, and they're amazing, trust me. Uh, and lastly here, we have Simply Safe, keeping your home safe with the best home security system of 2022 uh, by U.S. News and World Report, third year in a row. So we got a streak going. Simply Safe is amazing. Uh, it keeps Frankie's home safe. He has it. Every time I open the door, things beeping or whatever the hell goes on over there. Uh, in an emergency, 24-7 professional monitoring agents use fast-protected technology exclusively from Simply Safe to capture critical evidence and verify the threat is real so you can get priority police response. All that long-winded thing to say, you're keeping your place safe, okay? They have cameras. They have sensors for, like, windows and stuff. If you have children, you don't want them opening the front door and running out into the street so the door will beep or whatever. Um, and you can customize the perfect system for your home in just a few minutes. Also, cost-effective. It's a, like a dollar a day. So it's it's great. Go to simplysafe.com slash basement uh, today. Claim a free indoor security camera plus 20% off of your order with interactive monitoring. That is simplysafe.com slash basement. Uh, again, you get a free indoor security camera plus 20% off of your order with interactive monitoring. There is no safe. Like simply safe, boom. Good job, dude. You kind of crushed that. <sighs> Are you? Yeah. I gotta ask you something. Oh no. Do you miss me <laughs> at all? Do I miss you? When I'm not around, are you ever like, man, I wish Frankie was around? Um. Y yes, but it's situational. What the fuck does that mean? It's not like I don't m miss you because I know I'm seeing you. Yeah. Like, I see you more than I see most people. All right. Like, <laughs> all right. <Yeah. laughs> like, I see you twice a week. So I, I see you more than, like, anyone. I love you, too. There you go, folks. I love you, too. That's the way people... But people, there are times where I'm out. And I'm like, oh, Frankie would be I, this. I was actually thinking about this, and I don't want to make a, a too much out of this, but... <laughs> Realistically, do you think, like, you and I could be, like, lovers? Like, do you think we have, based off what you know about me and what I know about you, do you think if we got into a relationship, it would work? We would both have to be gay. I was going to say we're yeah. not gay. We would have to be. Unfortunately, we are not homosexual. We are not. Yeah. But do you think that, like, we could, there's no way. I think if you worked on, like, you I don't know. Th me worked. Yeah. What am I working you on? You gotta work on some things, Joe. What do I have to work Relationships on? Relationships are work. Everyone needs to work a little bit. Okay. If you just worked on, you know... Um, How about the positives? When you list the positives first, you can go straight to I'll, work? I'll, I'll list all the positives if you want me to, but no. we'll be here for a couple hours. Oh, yeah. Now you're trying to dig yourself out of your hole? I'm not digging anything out of anything. You're sleeping on the couch. Uh, for, God, first of all, fuck you. I've never... No, I'm not sleeping on no... And you do have a comfy couch. I will say that. Comfy, the couch is actually great. My bed is comfier than your bed, though. Probably. Yeah, because it's king. Uh -huh. I have a queen. <laughs> I don't know why I pulled that up, but I was I was driving in the car the other day, and I was just like, I seriously wonder, like, <laughs> if we could be together. If like our relationship, no way though. You know that. There's no way. It would be too funny. No, it would be. We're both like attention horse. And uh, can you imagine us getting into an argument? Me no, and Frankie have never really gotten into an argument. No, ever. but here's the thing: is well, we have over pop tarts, over uh, BLTs. <laughs> oh well, not. <laughs> I'm talking about like a real like. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. We just gaslight each other. Like we're really good at it. Well, hold on. Speak for yourself, there, bitch. Uh, Frankie, you've gaslit me on the show one million what times more than I have you. Ever gaslit you on the show? What? When have I ever done that? You're painting this really in inappropriate, uncomfortable a picture of me, and I don't like it. Oh, you only um. It's only all that time. <laughs> when, when do I do that? When I talk about your racist history? 
Oh man, <laughs> my racist history. My so you admit you have a racist history? No, in your head you've built one and you've convinced people. <laughs> Not that you've convinced people, but you you try no, to convince people. No, no, no. And then you also try to convince people that I like children. You don't like children anymore. I'm just saying, like you. <laughs> well, technically that's true. Because I know. When I was a child, I'm, when you were a child, you liked children. When you were a teenager, you liked children. Frankie. Untrue. <laughs> no, the jokes the jokes are there because they're fun to make. The reality is that you're one of the kindest, uh, smartest, thoughtful, uh, and and incredible people I've ever met in my entire life. All right, go ahead. No, that's it. That's really it. <laughs> Damn, thank you. That's dude. really it. You've o- you've overcome a lot, and and it's really nice to see you where you are today. Ditto. Um. <laughs> Motherfucker. Motherfucker. What else you got? Nothing. I have I have nothing for you, Frank. That's all I have. That's it. Just ditto. Which I've never said before, maybe in my entire life. I've said it when I'm talking about Pokemon. I I just I want to used to be my favorite Pokemon. Really, what is your favorite Pokemon right now? Oh, Zapdos. Zapdos is up there. Or dude. Scyther. Fucked with him. Scyther is pretty cool. I was a Charizard Arcanine boy. Arcanine's a hot. Wait, is that? That's no, the nine big tails. dog. Nine tails. Nine tails is a little slut. She yeah. knows what she's doing. Well, oh yeah. She knows exactly what she's doing. I also liked Gyarados. Gyarados is cool. Ew, hold, you say Gyarados. Gyarados, not Bro, Gyarados. Gyarados. Whoever says Gyarados, you're a fucking you asshole. Go bitch. and fucking find the bottom of a pool and sit there for life. For life. <laughs> Yo, do you remember? <laughs> what? Oh, what? What? What happened? <laughs> do you remember? When when I had that small ass pool. Oh, I thought you were gonna say penis. That's oh yeah. You remember that, right? You yeah. remember that though. I remember that, yeah. But no, but my mom <laughs> I used to have a small pool. It was ten foot round. And do you remember that you said Why did you say that like you were from fucking like Uzbekistan, ten foot round? Like just say circumference. I'm sorry. Fuck you. Uzbekistan, they took a stray shot for no reason. Yeah. Um, no, but we, <laughs> I'm doing it again. What am I doing? <laughs> no, but when you said sit on the bottom of the pool, it just reminded me. Do you remember where we used to sit on the bottom of my pool and take that heavy ass torpedo and try to hit each other in the nuts? Yeah, yeah. This torpedo was the most heavy. phallic, and it was phallic. It looked like a dildo. It did look like a dildo, but it was heavy, dude. Like if this thing actually hit you in the penis, which we, because it was each other solid in the rubber. It yeah. was not like there was no like. Like, it there was no. It wasn't a float. No. It was meant to go to the bottom of whatever body of water it was in. Yes. It was very heavy, and we would sit on the bottom of the pool across from each other, and it wasn't a big pool. It was like from here to here, and we were just throwing it. As hard as we could. And launch at each other's balls. Yeah, no, I remember that. And then we had another ball-busting game. Do you remember? <laughs> we did a lot of ball things. We did a lot of ball-busting. We would sit across. Well, me and Keith used to do this. I, I think we like introduced you to it eventually. With we a would, handball? Well, a handball. But we used to sit across from each other in my room, and then we would take socks and just keep putting them into one tube, like my dad's tube sock. So it was like a big, heavy thing. Yeah. And then we would just we had to sit with our legs open, and we would throw it across the room, and you can't move, and it would hit the other person in the balls. You know what I remember? Do you remember? Uh, 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 what fucking idiots <laughs> children are? <laughs> we were really dumb. I worry sometimes when my kids see this because they will. Yep. And they will know a lot about me. More than I want them to know about me. Yeah. Uh, but remember, Spencer's Gifts show, sold like a shock ball, and it was like a red ball that had like it was coated in rubber, and then there were like metal nodes yes. around it. Yes. And we would put that on on your balls, our balls. We should say our balls. Yeah, you should say our balls. We should I, say our balls. Singling out my nuts. Yeah, your nuts have been through hell, and you haven't had any kids yet. Legitimately, haven't been through hell. You might might want to make sure that your swim. You know, your fish are swimming. Why? Because I hit my balls so much? I was worried about it. Because you hit, cause I hit your balls? Bro, m- b- like teenage boys' balls go through the ringer, dude. Fucking sack taps and punch. Bro, there was one time, I remember I punched my brother in the balls so hard, I felt the back of his, like, pelvic bone. Jesus. What's wrong with you? I was very angry, I think. That feels like an attempted fisting. No, I wasn't. Wasn't trying to fist him, but like I remember that, and he like cried. Yeah, I'd cry. Yeah, I felt bad, but like you just want to check your fish, man. You wore tight pants, and you you've gotten punched in the balls a couple times. Just make sure your fish are swimming. You wore tight pants. I, I worry about you, man. I only wore tight pants for a certain amount of years, like like not a not a lot. 
These aren't tight. You're wearing sweats right now, right? No, I'm in like these like pants. Oh, I'm, what I'm, kind of jean? Mine you? are pretty tight right now. I have a man, man junge. You have a man junge? What does that mean? You got a fat pussy? You know what it means. You got a fat cat? <laughs> my cat's... My you got cat's, a Garfield going I over there? My, 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 my lasagna is cooking right now. <laughs> you know? Okay, that's disgusting. Is it? I'm sorry. Yeah. No. No, you don't refer to your pussy as lasagna. But the new year's coming up, and I, I wanted to make sure that I let you know what I think about you. I feel like I'm being set up. You're not being set up. You just wanted to say a nice thing to me? Yeah. I just, what's, the, what's the harm in saying something nice? Well, I appreciate it. Why are you reaching down? <laughs> no, I'm not... I'm not reaching down. I just wanted to make sure that you know that I care about you. Ew, I don't like this. <laughs> God, there's nothing there. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're an audio listener, I pranked them with a fake bug, but there was no bug. If you throw a bug at me, it's the end of it. <laughs> you know that, right? Well, 1,300 patrons. Nope, that's not it. Yep. 13, <laughs> we're at 13,000 patrons, and we're going to do something bug-related with you. So get those, get that asshole we ready. We should just tell them. Well, it's we, we haven't narrowed down exactly where it's going to be and when it's going to be. But you're going to be hanging with bugs. And, like, bugs, dude. Not, like, bugs. Bugs, bro. Uh, Frankie wants me to take me to that fucking stupid-ass museum. Yeah? Where you pet fucking cockroaches and yeah, yeah. tarantulas. I'm going to bring a couple cockroaches here for you. No, you're not. What would you do if I did? Be very upset permanently. Oh, wait, they're cockroaches, bro. What's the exactly, issue? bitch. What's the issue with them? Because if they start mating, then what? Yeah, I'm, uh, that's why you bring one. They can't fuck themselves. You said roaches. I said I'll bring I'll bring two male cockroaches. What if they're gay? <laughs> Let them then. Oh yeah, then I guess <laughs> they can't. They can't mate. They'll just be pissed at each other. How do you know they're gonna be men? And You're gonna talk check about each dick? other's highlights. You're gonna t- <laughs> You're gonna check them for dicks. Yeah, cockroaches have wieners, right? I don't know. Look it up. Cockroach penis? Cockroach penis. They have to. Otherwise, they would just have... Well, I would assume that they do. Cockroach penis. It, it's, uh, you know what? It, it's cockroach. Oh, it's cockroach. Yeah. Why am I saying cockroach? That's the way that people do it, I guess. Let's see this thing. I typed in cockroach penis into Google. Mm-hmm. The first thing that comes up is... Can cockroaches live in your penis? Oh, yeah, of course they can. No. Oh. They can't. Oh, all There's right. no evidence of it. <laughs> all right, I was wrong. Yeah, of course they can. <laughs> Cockroach penis. This is just a picture of a cockroach on a hot dog. Oh. Can I, I don't know that they... Can I see the hot dog? You buy that makes you hard? I love hot dogs. This one just looks like... Cockroach sex has taken a strange turn. The New York Times? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Journalism's really going downhill. Oh, there's something going ha- there's something going down. In response to pesticides, many cockroach females have lost their taste for the sweet stuff. What's Ew. The, what's the sweet stuff? Cum, I guess. <laughs> Is it sweet? Which changes how they make the next generation of insects. You told me it was salty. <laughs> Never had cum. When a male cockroach wants to mate with a female cockroach very much, he will scoot his butt towards her, open his wings, and offer her a homemade meal. This is the New York Times I'm reading. Wait, wait, what? That's what it says. When a male cockroach wants to mate with a female cockroach, he will scoot his butt towards her, open his wings, and offer her a homemade meal. That's kind of fire. That's a good way to put it. Sugars and fast... Hello. Oh, maybe it is actually food. Sugars and fats squished out of his turgle gland. And as the lovely lady nibbles, the male locks onto her with one penis, while another penis delivers a sperm package. So it's a trick. <laughs> it's a trap. Dude, cockroaches, this is how they do it. The male goes, hey, you want an ice cream cake? Oh, I got some candy over yeah. here. And then she goes, oh, what's that? Then he's got two dicks. One of them grabs her by the throat and he goes, hey. I got gotcha. you. And then the other one's like, put a baby in it. Dude, that's insane. <laughs> that's literally how it happens. 
So it's some trickery. Some good old cockroach trickery is what we're seeing here. He scoots towards her, open his wings, offers her the thing. She starts nibbling on fats and sugars, and then he's got two penises. One grabs her, the other one delivers the package. Listen, man, that, that, that you know, that's the way it gets done in the cockroach world, I guess. Bro, how? That's... You lure him in with, like, just, like, fucking, look what I got, hey. Zero consent. That's how all cockroaches talk, by the way. Ah, uh, look at what I got over here. Oh, what the fuck? Listen... Wait till you see, oh, it's so sweet and delicious, and then fucking bang, and, and then, then bang. penis. That's crazy, dude. It's got like the penis, like the xenomorph from Alien. One grabs, the other fucking penetrates. That's terrifying. I think I'd like to have two penises. Uh, I'm good with, I'm, uh, I'm good with the one I barely have. <laughs> I'm good with half a one. Yeah, I'm, right. I'm good with that. I'm all right with the one I got. Having two penises would be kind of cool, though. Would it? Uh, that's extra work. For whom? Me? You? What? What do you mean? You got to You you're you're the jerk off guy. Oh, you just. I'm not the jerk off guy. <laughs> it's like it's like patting your head and rubbing your tummy. At no, the you could do that. You could do that. Look at that. You were all off. You need alternating currents. Go. No, slam you, those no, dicks. No, no, no. You're gonna fucking you're gonna beat your dick into oblivion, bro. Your dick's gonna look like fucking Wouldn't be the third time. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what a day. Anyway, that's where we're gonna stop it. All right. Two cocks. Cockroach sex. That's insane. The cockroach I guess that's why they way. call them cockroaches. Because they're just roaches with two cocks. You're onto something. I'm onto it. Maybe that is why. F Alvarez8085 on Twitter, the Frank Alvarez on Instagram, uh, TikTok before it gets shut down by the US government, <laughs> uh, YouTube, and uh, Cameo. Need a last minute holiday gift? Holiday. Check it out. Uh, you guys can follow me at Joe Santagato. Go follow the show at The Basement Yard on TikTok that's it, and Instagram. That's it. And that is all. See you guys next time. Hey!